Hello, good afternoon. Um, I'm Master Coach Jasmine coming in live here in San Mateo, Rizal. I'm a certified life coach from the Global Institute for Coaches and Entrepreneur. Welcome to Women Connect Who of the Hour episode for women. We are doing this video series as a service to our community during this time of physical isolation due to COVID-19. And with me, uh, my co-host for today is Coach Faye. Yes, I want to greet first our Muslim viewers with our mm -hmm. greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. A'uju billahi min ash-shaytani rajim. As-salatu as-salam ala rasulullah wa ala ali wa sahbi ajma'in. Rabbi shahli sadri wa yasir li umri wa hlul uqdatan min lisani ya kahum kawli. Great afternoon again to each and every one of you. For those who are just uh watching us we are here live i'm live from tacloban city in my Ayon. my house mm -hmm. ayan me, mm -hmm. master coach Jasmine. yes yes opo so yun pong ating who of the hour women connect is our initiative to connect with uh women so we want to know what is the present situation right now and how our fe fellow women is responding and the outcome being experienced in the present. And for the information of many, Global Institute for Coaches and Entrepreneur is based in Dallas, Texas, USA with local presence through our 24 hours, seven days a week coaching hub at DCAP Coffee Republic located in PC Compound, Capitolio, Pasig City. We offer coaching on demand services any time of the day. Just connect through 0917-586-1661 or visit our FB page, Life Coach Philippines. And we also provide life coach certification classes for those who are interested to become a professional life coach like us. So moving on, uh, Coach Faye, please introduce our Who of the Hour. Okay, our who for for this afternoon, Master Coach Jasmine. Mm. Uh, she is originally from Zamboanga City, but at this moment she is presently situated in Kabadbaran City, Agusan del Norte, oh. which is a forty minutes drive away from Butuan City. So help me welcome my sister in faith, Leandra Jawali Haji. She is also the wife the founder of Iklas Dawa Center here in Tacloban City. So, assalamu alaikum, Sis Lian. Would well, you like to greet our viewers? Yes. Yes, wa alaikum as uh, Thank you for having me today. today. How are you? Um, I'm currently live from Cabaduran City here in um, Agusan del Norte. Ayan. Opo, kwentuhan niyo po kami, um, uh, Ms. Lian, or uh, ng inyo pong present situation. What are your experience with physical isolation right now? Um, so far, right now naman, um, okay naman siya. So far, yung, yung fear ng mga tao dito nag-subside na. So, um, compared to last week, medyo um, everything was um, drastic, yung, yung mga announcements from... Um, from the president. So right now, ang mga tao, so far, um, kalmado na sila, peaceful na dito. So, uh, oh, alhamdulillah, God. we are able to adjust uh, to what is happening right now nationwide. So, so far naman, um, dito sa Kabadbaran, um, very proactive ang mayor. So, um, oh, marami oh. siyang mga, yes, marami siyang mga measures, marami siyang ginagawa to, um, to help the people of Kabadbaran. And uh, mashallah, the Agusanuns are very disciplined, uh, law-abiding citizens. So, so far, the work out naman yung mga, mga measures ni Mayor. Mm. May, I, may I ask lang, Master Coach Jasmine, uh, si Slian yung mayor nyo po dyan, lalaki, babae? Ah, babae. Uh, wow. Si Mayor Judy Amante. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So how can you share to us uh, paano ba yung isang mayora? Kasi here in Tacloban City, we are uh, being run by by our mayor, uh, si Mayor Romualdez, lalaki po. So I want to hear it from 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 the side na paano ba yung mayor na babae mag-run naman sa ganitong yeah. sitwasyon that we are now. Um, Masha Allah, um, I can say I am really happy right now here in Kabadbaran. 
um, actually this city is a, a working model for for other cities to follow kasi mm-hmm. ano siya magaling yung mayor uh, tapos there is a collaboration from 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 the mayor's office down to the barangay officials so maayos ang pagka ano oh yes maayos ang pag ano nila dito sa covid-19 pag control and so far um wala kami zero kami ng zero positive in this part of uh, Agusan although may mga PUM okay, yeah although may mga PUMs um pero tatlo lang ata yung PUI tapos pero mild ano lang sila mild symptoms oh. so um yeah i have seen so far because i'm also um involved in the food industry so meron akong maliit na kainan or eatery here in terminal so um nakikita ko i've seen how the city health workers uh, were monitoring the places yung mga eatery yung mga restaurants um like inspects the one by one so, so far um si mayor yung dissemination niya ng information to to help the people to be aware of what's going on is very good kasi bakit um aside from the broadcasting sa region niya yung mga announcements niya um she has also yung mobile na nag-a-announce yung wow. mga oh uh, yes tapos uh, and they speak in bisaya so klaro talaga sa 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 mga tao yung mga yung mga local executive orders niya like yung mga PUMs hindi kayo pwede maglabas-labas pwede kayong arestuhin ganun ganun pwede kayong magmulta ng 20,000 so very pesos. vocal oh, very yes. vocal si Maya yes, and I love her I love her kasi magaling eh kasi na-control niya in fact kahit walang lockdown parang lockdown yung city and away kasi disiplinado yung mga tao oh, and yeah. nakapalo talaga yeah, sila kung yeah. ano yung mandate ni Mayora yes Yeah, that's nice to hear po ano na talagang um, ka- coming from a view of um, a fellow women na tal- taga Jaan po sa ibang party po ano. So dito po kasi talaga nakikita na namin na halos madami na din pong area positive but it's very nice to know that in in uh, in Agusan del Norte, Norte. Norte. In Agusan del Norte wala po talagang positive and your mayor, 'di ba? Si Mayora po is really Uh, implementing it very very nicely talaga very effective, yes. okay. very effective yung kanyang mga strategies in controlling the the virus right now ano and kamusta naman po sa business po natin so you mentioned kanina na meron po kayong iti, uh, itiri ano so kamusta po ang negosyo po natin ngayon um oo nga talaga so far lahat talaga ng tao is affected with this um covid-19 talagang very um negative siya sa ating economy uh, so far uh, wala pa namang um announcement for closure yung mga restaurants kasi nga mga oh. eatery oo kasi nga magaling nga yung pag ano ni mayor um right now yung mga um temporarily suspended lang yung operation ng mga entertainment establishments like yung mga bilyaran, mga oh. internet cafes, kinlose muna kasi di ba these are the centers na nagagather yung mga tao. Uh-uh. So, yes, yes. Muna yung mga basketball lang, close muna yung mga swimming pools, yung mga resorts na may mga swimming pools. So, so far, uh, yung mga video okay, ganun, wala muna. So, uh, right now, sa in that in that area naman, sa mga ano, sa mga establishments na ganun, um, there's the good news for them kasi very active nga si Mayara Masyaala. Uh, I heard that they were giving out 5,000 pesos para dun sa mga temporarily na affected ng closure. So wow. yung mga empleyado, binigyan ng tig-tig-tig pa 5,000 pesos. So kaya nga, thumbs up ako kay Mayara. I'm happy the city is safe. It is orderly. It is peaceful. So Masyaala, yes. Actually nga parang, sabi ko parang gusto ko na talaga mag-stay dito forever sa Kabad Palad. Kasi nga, Oh, <laughs> because of the comfort. Yes, of yeah. course. And yes, and the leadership ano. Uh, ah, but yes. Um, but tingin muna natin Coach Faye, yung ating pong mga nanonood na uh, ating mga coaches. Ayan. Si Coach K Sabala from Tacloban. Ayan, sabi niya hi sila sa iyo. Nanonood po siya, binabati ka po niya. Hi, Ma'am Lian. Hi, and Ma'am Lian. Yes, and Coach Rizel. Ayan, ayan po. Sabi po niya, binabati niya rin po kayo. She is the Operation Manager of Decap Coffee Republic, our 24-7 coaching hub in Pasig City. Coach K, uh, Coach Faye, meron ka bang tanong kay 
Um, Lian, Ma'am Lian? Yes, I want to ask this ah, kasi um, I, I know that your eatery has been a very busy place before the the isolation. Yes, actually we're yes. always full house, alhamdulillah. And yes, meron so, din kaming lechon manok, actually we're selling, yeah. I have some stores sa downtown na lechon manok na talagang mabenta siya, but so far ngayon, parang mga one third na lang yung benta namin. So, yun, yun, I, 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 wanna, I wanna take it from there. I wanna take it from there, Sis Lian, because the economy is really down. I mean, I, yes. I, 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 coming from the point of view of, of a negotiante myself, so as a woman, how are you coping? How do you keep that heart strong as a woman? As a woman? Well, right now, um, as, um, as a woman, right now, all I can say is um, when it comes to my, um, to my business, um, since I am the one managing this um, business, I've always um, I've, I've assured my um, workers that I will take care of them. Wow. So I told them, "Ako bahala sa inyo, sa family niyo. Don't worry. As long as open itong ano natin tindahan natin, kahit temporary close tayo, pambala sa inyo. So you have, I will help you, and you have to help me. Na hindi kayo ma infect ni tong virus na to. So." Um, I have nice. taken, yes, I have taken uh, measures also since from the beginning pa nung onset pa ng COVID-19. Um, talagang stricto na ako when it comes to the sanitation ng kainan. Kasi I myself, I don't want to be infected. Yung mga tao, yeah. I know. Kasi kahit pag, pag meron ng isa na infected, dangerous na sa amin lahat. So kayo, yun ang sinasabi ko sa kanila. Always wear mag-mask kayo. Tapos I have um, instructed them na yung isang tao lang talaga ang tumatanggap ng money, ng bayad. Kasi mahirap na. Kasi minsan yung COVID na dun sa pera. And uh, yes, totoo, totoo. Oh, And sometimes, sometimes, alam mo, pag nakakahawak ako ng pera, tapos naalala ko, oh my God, baka may COVID dito. Bigay mo sa akin, sis? <laughs> Hindi, yung mga, lalo na yung, yung mga barya. Pag namatay ka dun sa barya, oh my God, what? <laughs> mahirap yung ganun. <laughs> Okay, so, okay. yun. So, yun nga. Um, so far, and just yesterday, natouch din ako sa mga tao ko kasi when when they saw na parang yung benta namin, parang mahirap nang ipasahod sa tao. Sabi ng iba, yung mga walang family, ma'am, okay lang kami walang sahod, pakainin mo lang kami. Sabi ko naman, ang bayit ko naman. <laughs> Sabi ko. So, you know, this is how I take care of my people. And they, and they're, also, they're also concerned for me and my business. So, we're a big family here. So alhamdulillah, okay naman kami so far, coping and hoping na matapos na itong ano na to, COVID-19 na to. Yeah, ang galing ko ano, um, Ma'am Lian, ano, we really really appreciate how you are responding to your, uh, yung, yung mga kasamahan po ninyo dyan sa, sa negosyo po ninyo and Really also um ganun din ano na yung puso po nila ay hindi po naghahanap ano so masaya na po sila na na kahit ngayon eh hindi ganun kalaki maraming benta for now kagaya dati is it's really enough for them na sila po ay makakain lang ano so totoo mm, masaya po uh, oo oh, and, and it's important that they know yung pinagtatrabaho nila hindi sila pababayaan we will take care of them sabi ko nga sa ito na nang love. Basta health is wealth. Maging healthy tayo. So, dapat ganun. Magtulungan tayo. Help me and I will help you. So, yeah. so far naman, as a Muslim woman, yung, I think um, my contribution is to to really be aware of what's going on and and to help also people to be educated and to be aware of what to do during this infection, this, ano, this um, contagion. So mahirap kasi itong contagion na to kasi ano eh napaka ano eh hindi mo alam yung kalaban mo hindi mo nakikita eh. So <laughs> so yun ang sinasabi ko sa kanila. We have to follow um the directives, the policies, the protocols from the mayor's office. Uh wag kayong magpasaway. We have to be disciplined. Yun nga. And right now yung ini-implement lang naman ni mayor is the 8 8 PM curfew. So, my curfew kami, 7.30 close na kami. Tapos, ang galing nga ni Mayor kasi nagro-ronda na yung patrol with sirens. So, parang, sabi ko, uy, parang pelikula ito na may warning na <laughs> lockdown na. <laughs> sabi ko nga, parang yung nakikita mo sa mga contagion na movies na warning, close your stores and, and go home. Sabi ko nga, so, magaling nga. So, so far naman, okay naman kami. So, yes. Yeah. 
Ang galing, ang galing, ang galing po. So, Coach Faye, meron pong si Pakadi Uwada. Kilala mo po siya. Sabi niya po, uh, Coach Faye, salam Coach Faye. Coach Faye. We are family. We are watching yeah. here in Zamboanga. Okay. Yeah, yeah, she's my sister-in-law. Um, Hello, yes, everyone sister. from Zamboanga City. Yes, thank you Opo. for watching. And Coach Candy, yeah, nagbumabati din po si Happy Coach Happy birthday, Candy. Coach Candy. And birthday din ni Coach Candy. Yes. yes. And we would like... May, oh, sige po. May follow-up lang ako doon, Coach Jasmine. Mm -hmm. eh, yung sinabi ni Sis Lia na yung tumutulog siya sa, sa ating uh, Muslim community. I want to take it from there because aside from... From your business, sa food industry, I believe may, may online dawa ka eh. You're doing uh, something else uh, more, 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 than, uh, more than what you're doing right now. In, in, in that field, Sis Lian, how do you empower those, those women who ask you question for strength, to ask you question for like spirituality, yung, yung mga ganong tanong? How, how do you tackle those issues with them? being Muslim, paano mo siya inaayos sa online when you do your dawa? Yes, yes, uh, Coach Faye. Uh, usually naman, um, sa dawa, it's both the, hindi lang babae, it's both uh, male and female pumapasok sa chat rooms. But usually nga, uh, yung nag -e engage nga sa chat rooms is babae kasi nga mahilig makipagkwentuha lang babae. So far, um, yun nga, uh, the, the rule number one is for questions coming from women, especially yung mga problems, mga issues, marital life, ganun, ganun papakita mo talaga yung sincerity mo na nag -e ka sa situation niya. So, so far, ganun yung ginagawa ko. Um, um, aside from, of course, um, yung mga answers natin has to be Islamic too. So, yun, um, mag-empathize ka and um, you should um, give them yung, yung the wisdom behind every problems na na-encounter na nila, which um, our religion actually has answers to these problems. So, ganon. So, in the end, babalik ka pa rin sa kung ano yung mga principles, yung ano kung ano yung wisdom, kung ano yung goodness, yung benefit na nakukuha natin from, from Islam na na-apply natin sa self natin, sa sarili natin, and to our families. Yes. Ay, ano po yung um, family yan and coach fake? Can you tell us about it? Ano po yun? Uh, is it community or... Yes, actually, uh, there is this, um, actually, this project has been from Riyadh because um, oh, okay. I was from Riyadh. I worked in Riyadh for more than 10 years. This project has been in Riyadh, sa FB siya. So, parang may mga ads kaming ginagawa sa FB na parang, are you interested in Islam? Do you want to ask about Islam? About uh, mga ganon. Tapos, if, if you are willing to, uh, to, to, to talk about Islam or kung paano siya ma-apply sa self ninyo, kung yung mga ganun, yung mga questions yeah. about Islam. Um, so, that is mm -hmm. so that is also a way nyo rin po of service, ano? Oo. Oh, oh. yes, so yes. right now, yung mga questions nga is, bakit kinlose yung masjid? Bakit kinlose yes. yung mosque? Ganon. Um, pwede pa, paano kami mag-pray sa bahay na close yung mga ganito, ganito. So, anong unahin natin? Should we consider the the, the safety, the sanitation of of the masjid before going in? Yung mga ganun mga questions. So, somehow yun, na, nakakatulong naman tayo na mag-explain sa kanila na this is temporary. I mean, yeah. everything in Islam has exemptions. Hindi kasi, ang Islam kasi is the, this is the, the hindi siya backward eh. Na, Nag-a-adapt siya sa, sa lahat ng situation. So, may mga exemptions during times like this na unahin natin yung safety, yung, yung ano ng mga tao, and then temporary closure yung mga masjid, and then we, we come back after the, this prime times na balik ulit sa normal sa ang ano ang operation ng mga masjid natin. Yeah, that's very very wonderful. Ano napaka-empowered women woman ni ano no ni Lian. Oo, ni Sis Lian. Talagang marami po siyang ginagawa sa sa society and at the same time support sa sa kanya pong husband. So, uh, can you tell us about that po? Um Sis Lian, and paano niyo naman po sinusuport ngayon yung husband niyo? Um, 
baliktad siguro paano niya ako sinusuport <laughs> <laughs> um, hindi uh, paano ako paano pa pa ano rephrase ng slight very very slight okay yeah what, paano niya what support, paano ako ang support what support yes. you give to yes, Ustaz actually, Kacharo um, right now you are far malayo yes. kayo oh, actually oh, lagi kami na ganda dito lagi kami na chat nag online uh-huh. uh, actually I was supposed to travel with him to Tacloban but then nung nandun na kami nasa nasa palabas na kami I was informed na I cannot come back to Kabadbaran if I will leave I cannot come back in 30 days so I said oh my god time pa naman yun ng mga tax mapping so I I cannot so I went back binalik niya ako dito so hindi ako nakasama ng Tacloban so far, um, lagi kami nag-uusap online and um, as usual, kasi right now ang Tacloban is uh, lock- on lockdown. So, uh, nandun lang siya sa farm nila. Ayun, kumakain ng kung ano ng mga healthy food. So, ayun. Yes, and so far we update each other kung ano yung nangyayari dito. And sometimes sabi niya na kung kailangan mo nang mag-close, close mo na yan to protect yourself and the uh, workers and ganon. So first, sabi ko naman, okay naman lahat ang ano ng government. So mag-antay lang tayo kung ano yung advice ng local, ng LGUs. Mm-hmm. Yes. And personally, since Lian, how are you responding? Um, ikaw po mismo, yes, you are doing a lot of things, eh, di ba? Um, outside. Pero ikaw po, sa loob mo, how are you responding right now, given na first time po nangyari yung ganito, maring ngayon lang talaga ninyo naranasan din yung mga ganitong lockdown, quarantine, di po pa. So, how are you responding? Um, ako, I have my own share of worries din naman. Pero, I have to um, show it to my um, to my workers dito na I'm okay. Kasi, ako yung ano nila eh, ako yung nagmamanay sa kanila. So, um, I have to show to them na hindi, huwag kayong magpanic, you know? Um, this thing will pass. So, ganon. Um, magtiwala tayo sa government kung ano yung mga instructions sila, mag-follow lang tayo. So, par- parang ganon, yung ina-ano, ina-encourage ko sila na huwag mawalan ng, ng loob, yung ganon. Yung, yung, and at the same time, of course, importante rin yung spirituality, yung connection mo to God na magkaroon ka ng um, reliance to Him na although you are working on solutions but you know um, everything is from God. So, yun yung mga, yes. yung mga, uh, yes, True. exactly. Yun. Yeah, that's nice to hear, no? So, yung faith... Actually, this is not my first time na oh. na-experience ito in a way. Kasi, I was in Riyadh when the MERS COV um, oh. started. Yes. Oh. So, doon. So, so far, yung, yung na-experience ko din doon is yun nga, mag-follow ka talaga sa government mm-hmm. para ma- ma-contain yung, yung infection. So, ganun din talaga yung dapat nagawin natin dito. Follow. Kailan, kailan yung worst ko? When was that? Uh, what year? I think 2012, I think. 12, yeah. Mm-hmm. 12, yes. 2012 right? yes. and 2012. 2012. But, yes, 20, but okay. they were able to contain it uh, quickly. Do you know why? Because the Saudis are disciplined. At saka yung mga laws nila, very strict. May mga penalty. You cannot just, when, when the government says it's lockdown, it's lockdown. Or otherwise, may penalty kapag lumabas ka. So I think we have we need those laws also to be implemented in a way, lalo uh-huh. na sa mental health. So ganun. And, and besides, yung government nila, ready sila for that kind of ano, yung control. Kasi ano sila, ready sila. May mga facilities sila. So what the government did at that time was, Meron silang, di ba, yung National Guard? They close it down just to treat mm. the MERS-CoV patients. So lahat doon, naka-quarantine, lahat doon sa National mm. Guard, pati yung mga staff, yung mga doctor, yung mga nurses, and they were paid handsomely kasi may mga hazard pay sila eh. So ganun eh, ganun, ganun sila mag-take care ng mga tao nila. So, so, so parang saglit lang yun, hindi ko nga napansin mga ilang months lang yun na wala na yung MERS-CoV. Yeah. Ang galing po, ano. And balikan ko lang po yung sinabi nyo kanina, no? So, one way of your coping, of course, you mentioned, uh, thank you for being vulnerable po, ano, sharing your heart. Na, syempre, nag-aalala, meron ka din yes. sa po, ano. But, again, that, ang, ang pinapanghawakan mo lang po ngayon is really your faith. 
Tama po yes, ano? you're right. You're right. Yes. yes. Which uh, our master coach A is watching right now. Oh, coach Faye, can you read? Yes. Her, her Hello, comment? MCA. Yes. Uh, sabi niya. According to master coach A, yes, our God is in control. Our God is, is in control. Ayan. Yes. Indeed mm-hmm. he is. Yes, indeed he is. So, meron anong lesson po? Um, sis Lian, ang, ang, if there is one lesson that we can get out from this uh, COVID-19 lockdown quarantine issue, ano po yun? Anong isang pinaka-importanting lesson? Okay, um, what I learned so far now is important sa atin ang collaboration and cooperation. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, um, from yung mga normal citizens, we really have to cooperate and work with with our government, with the authority. Yun talaga ang importante doon. Kasi bakit? Um, we have this, ano na eh, we have these directives na from our mayors and mga measures nila, which are implemented by the barangay officials down to the barangay city health, uh, barangay centers, at saka yung city health centers. So, so far kasi dito sa Pilipinas, wala pa tayong ganong facility. So, um, prevention is everything for us. It's better na safe than sorry. So, yun ang natutunan ko talaga ngayon. Kasi, we cannot, like, look at UK right now. 50% of the population is infected. UK ha, developed na bansa ito. Pag nangyari ito sa Pilipinas, mamamsi pa yung lahat. So, ganyan yung mga ganon. Oh, yes, actually, it's true. We, we are not, we cannot handle this kind of um, tragedy na ganun kadami, 50% na infected. So yun, ang, uh, what's important is um, we share the same humanity, we share the same earth, the same um, environment. We have to cooperate. We have to be disciplined, yes. We have to collaborate with the law enforcers also. May mga ganun na dapat talaga may unity tayo when it comes to um, solving a problem and uh, finding solutions. So this this is parang ano no, Master Coach, it's a collective effort, effort yes. from each yeah. one of us. Pero gusto ko marinig si Lian. I want to hear your heart, right? How how did this um I I want to I want I want to think of the best word. This self isolation kasi you are far from your husband. Eh. Mm-hmm. I mean right now I, I I am with my husband. So medyo mas 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 composed ako kasi pag medyo na we weekend nandiyan si husband to really empower me and tell me yeah, it's gonna be okay so ikaw you are you are far although you talk online ano yung ano yung puso ngayon ni sis Lian what, what is your 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 learning as a woman na malayo ngayon sa husband and yung strength Aside, yeah, the spiritual, it's given naman talaga. Yeah. Knowing you, and mm. we hear, we heard it kanina. Pero yung, yung sayo talaga, Coach Lian, I, I, we really appreciate your help to the community, your, your, your updates. I mean, all these are facts. Pero yung ikaw lang talaga, as a woman, ano kaya yung pwede mong i-share sa amin na for those women who are far from their, from their partners right now and they are needing strength, they are needing support, what is it, what beautiful thing or beautiful value can you share to them that you have learned from this experience? Yes, um, as a wife, it's normal to, to, to worry a lot of, about a lot of things like malayo yung family mo, yung husband mo. I worry for my husband as I worry for my sisters and my mother na malayo din, sa Zamboanga sila. So um, right now, all I can do for, the, for them is mag, um, pray ako for them. I have to pray for them and um, call them always. Yung mother ko, I think 10 times a day na tumatawag, you know. Um, she's an old woman. She needs someone to talk to at this time na mag-isa lang siya. So we really need to talk to our family, connect. Um, Connect. ask them, oh, oh yes, ask them what they need. Yes, kailangan yun eh. Kasi, you know, you know, something I learned about Islam is yung charity mo, yung charity natin. Because in, uh, as a Muslim, we start our charity in the house. You know, yes. yes. We, we start from our family, from our sisters, from our brothers. We start with them to our cousins, to our relatives, and then to our neighbors. Ganon yung charity namin. And then, if you have more, then go out. Pero yun, kasi importante yun eh. Kasi yun ang mga blood relations mo. 
you have to take care of them, pray for them, and support them. Um, so far, yun ang ginagawa ko. And alhamdulillah, I'm doing well. And minsan nga naisip ko, paano pag namatay ako, ikikremate kaya ako? <laughs> Kasi malo, di ba? Parang, kasi we have our own funeral our right. Patay agad. Yung mga Muslim, oo. Oh, oh, kaya, parang naisip ko, paano kayo pag namatay ako ngayon sa, yun yung, yung mga isa sa mga worries ko, pag namatay ka ngayon, ikikremate ka, nobody will will see you from your family. You will you will, you will will be alone at all. Yung mga ganun yung mga fears and mga worries ko na morbid oh. minsan. Pero hindi mo kasi maiwasan yung kasi tao oh. lang tayo, di ba? So what do you do? Paano siya nawawala po? Oh, paano? Ako, ako talaga is um very spiritual ako. Yes, I have to admit that. Um so far it has been my strength na to connect with God. And yun um yun I think ang importante talaga sa lahat kasi yeah. after everything fails, God is there. Oh, and of course um you really also have to do what uh, is needed na maprotektahan yung sarili mo against this um, COVID-19. Yes. Ang galing, ano? Yeah. Uh, si Sis Lian talagang... Ang dami namin learnings. Oo, oh, ang dami namin learnings, Sis Lian. It's really very nice that um, uh, mamaya po uh, i-share po natin ito, Coach Faye and Sis Lian. Yes, yes. Uh, nasa Coach 8, coaching community po siya. So, you can... Um, um, pwede po kayong, yung group po na yun is a Facebook page of our Master Coach A. So you can like that page, Coach A Coaching Community and and Life Coach Philippines. I-like nyo din po siya para pwede nyo po siyang i-share and you can watch this on replay. You can send it also to your husband para mapanood ka po niya. Na, na, napag-usapan din po natin siya yun, di ba? So matutuwa po pag napanood niya po na na, na, na ka aka interview ka ngayon sa Facebook Live and um right now um Miss Lian so is there any support that you need right now um so far okay naman kami but I really want to thank um Coach Faye kasi alam mo si Coach mm. Faye uh, I met her in Tagloban but uh she continues to connect with me um nagulat nga ako is um kasi lagi na mo kami nag-uusap and then suddenly nag-chat sa akin how are you? How are you doing? How are you coping? Yung mga ganon. Mm. Um, I think it is very important uh, to your work as coaches to help people um, deal with psychological, with emotional and mental health. That's yeah. important din yun, especially at this time na yes. isolation is, is new to most of us na andun eh, nagbibuild yung mga worries mo, yung mga concerns mm. mo. So it's important to share it with someone kung ano yung worries mo at and ask people for advice and solutions kung ano yung dapat mong gawin. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Coach Faye. Yes, and Coach yes. Faye, oh, ilala mo ba? Si Sheng, yeah, Sheng, Sheng Maadil, sabi niya po, Salam, Coach Faye, I'm watching from Sambuanga City. Sambuanga City, proud City. oh. Ayan, oh, marami ka ng fans, Sis Lian, oh. You're being oh, watching from Sambuanga. Yes, and oh, wow. wow, so ang ganda ng support na, na yun, ano. Yes, mm-hmm. totoo po, especially at this time, there, there's a lot of things happening, uh, news, diba, mga mm-hmm. balita na, na minsan talagang nakaka-apekto po in our mental health. And yes po, that's why uh, our community, ang mga life coaches po is doing this uh, uh, connect, women connect, who of the hour for us to be able to to talk to women and those people in the industry na kung papaano po, kamustahin po ang sitwasyon po natin ngayon. So, how are you, Sis Lian, right now, having this interview? Pa, kamu, kamu yes, po actually, po. I'm relieved. I'm relieved. Oo, oh, oh, wow. I'm relieved. Alhamdulillah. Um, I'm oh, able to talk to, to uh, good, uh, great coach. <laughs> coaches, personal coaches here. Yeah. So, um, alhamdulillah. Yes. yes. And, if I may, if I may add to that, uh, yeah. Master Coaches, mean at least I am glad, uh, Sis Lian, you see, you see the beauty in what we do as life yes. coaches. Um, it's not really easy to to be strong at this trying time, uh, mm-hmm. to come out, and to really talk. Pero we we stay true to our profession. That as life coaches, we help we help you guys facilitate whatever thoughts is running in your mind. True. Although we we don't give advice, but all we can mm. give is facilitate 
kung paano namin i-declutter yung mga thoughts sa mind yun, yung mga morbid exactly. thoughts, kung yeah. paano, paano tama ba ako, Master Coaches, me. Yes. Yeah, we yeah, just ask powerful questions. <laughs> yes, we just ask the questions. Anyway, everything, pag na-release naman yan, you become... As, as you notice when we did our process uh, sis Lian nakita mo naman yung yung growth di ba sa sayo yes. kung you feel more more relieved yes. better kaya i am i want to say thank you for for saying yes to this interview kasi medyo yes. ano eh master coaches me yes. na okay. ano muna tinanong ko yung puso okay ba tayo okay <laughs> because so... i know it's it's very difficult for her because Mm. Malayo siya kay husband, she's alone there. So, alhamdulillah, I'm glad that she's coping well with the situation and with this very powerful sharing. I believe that the, the Iklas community is very proud of you, Sis Lian. And uh, I'm still praying that you come home to us. We need you here in Tacloban City. Um, as I always say, I cannot do it alone in helping the, the Muslim community. I need someone like you who, who believe in what I do. Who believe mm-hmm. in what I do and who share whatever whatever goodness or whatever wisdom you get from life coaching, you are very yeah. open. Your heart is very beautiful too. Eh. Kitang kita yeah. naman talaga, di ba, Master Coach? Yes, yes, definitely. So, talagang sis, sis Lian is very, very blessing right now for, for those who, who will be watching this on replay at Coach A Coaching Community and uh, the same time in Life Coach Philippines, talagang marami pa silang matututunan. So, Sis Lian, one outcome. Okay, bigyan niyo po kami ng outcome. Pag natapos po ang lahat ng ito, ano po yung gusto niyong makita? Um, in, in what sense na makita? Uh, uh, what picture do you want to see after COVID-19? Yes, I want to see a more disciplined Filipinos. Mm-hmm. Yun. Yun talaga. Yun talaga ang importante, ang kailangan. Mm-hmm. How yes. about kay Lian? Personally, kay Lian? Uh-huh. Yes. Kay yeah. Lian. That includes Lian? me also na discipline. Discipline <laughs> <laughs> ka yes. naman eh. May mga ganun eh. Kasi as a woman, we really have to discipline ourselves, our emotions, di ba? Uh-huh. And yun, para clear, clear yung outlook mo sa life. Actually, uh, this COVID-19, ang tawag ko nga dito, corona eh. This corona is a oh. jewel in disguise. Wow. Uh, kasi nga, bakit? Because um, it's the mother of realizations. Ang dami mong mga epiphanies, wow. ang dami mong ma-realize na mas importante kaysa what you are doing, kaysa trabaho, kaysa career, kaysa pera, kaysa business. Life is important. Yun. Kasi after everything that we have achieved, tingnan mo, just a tiny virus came and it stopped everything. And then now we are all reduced to our survival mode. Yeah. Parang sur- ano na tayo eh. Oo, nandun na tayo sa stage na kailangan lang natin mag-survive after this. And then pag nag-survive tayo, ya Allah, I'll, I'll be a better person. Yeah, yeah. You know, yung mga ganun na realizations oh, na. Oh, okay lang. then. Yes. That's a very, very nice ano. Kung makakapag-type lang ako ngayon, lalagay ko po yun. Hashtag, jewel in disguise. Ano? Corona, jewel in disguise. Because of the, in so, many, in so many reflections that being birthed up right yes. now ng, ng coronavirus. Ano. If, wow. if I may share, Master mm-hmm. Coach Jasmine, mm-hmm. gusto ko lang parang, gusto kong dugtungan doon, uh, Sis Lian, yung sinabi mo na parang ang dami nating realization kasi mm-hmm. nga, jewel in disguise siya. As women talaga, if we are only intentional in loving and caring to the society that we are in, really, we are the light. We, are, we, 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 we can be the light in, in every darkness. Like right now, we are living in a broken world. I, I might say broken world talaga. Yeah. Like, we, we all came to a stop. Talagang yeah. yung yung outcome talaga na, wait, ano kaya mangyayari after this stop? So, if we keep our intention and our care uh, very clear and very mm-hmm. sincere, and we do it vocally, like right now, you're you coming out. I mean, this is something to me because wow. most most women of our days would want, ay, ayoko makita sa public because I'm not ready, I don't know what to say. But for you, you know that there will be wisdom after this talk. Marami kang pusong 
uh, matatouch with, with the words that you say, with the things that you discuss to all of us. Nakilala namin yung mayor nyo po at isang karangalan po yun sa akin. Yes. Na, mm-hmm. Although nandito ako sa Tacloban City, but because of you in 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 your eyes, uh, in your words, nakilala po namin ni Master Coach Asmin kung paano mag-lead ang isang yeah. babaeng mayor. Babae, so, yeah. yes. So, you know, just beautiful. today... Just today, I've, I've learned na yung mga health workers, meron mm-hmm. silang pinagawa si Mayor na ano, yung parang bathroom para lang sa kanila mm-hmm. where they can take a bath before going back to their homes. Ganun siya kagaling. Meron siyang mm-hmm. pinagawang bathrooms for them na they can, mag, pwede na silang mag-change after their duties, maliko, and then mm-hmm. go home to their family na without any ano. Yeah, very good talaga. Napakagaling ng Mayor na mm-hmm. hindi, nila, hindi nila parang ma ma infect yung family nila so this that's why i told you from the very beginning kabadbaran city is a model city for other cities to follow ganun siya kaya zero talaga po ano zero case yes. din talaga in agusan del norte and ayun po with that so uh, i hope we have more time to really share po ano pero nagpapasalamat talaga kami coach Faye, salamat po sa iyong mga sisters that really are shedding light happiness and inspiration right now in our Women Connect Who of the Hour. So kanina pa, di ba, si Mama Mia and now si Sis Lian. So we thank you for all the empowered women uh, in Agusan del Norte and Tacloban, di ba, in, in, in different areas right now that are being an inspiration to those who are watching and who will watch this on replay in Life Coach Philippines in uh, Coach A, uh, Coach A coaching community. So, Sister Lian, salamat po. Ah. Thank you very, very much po. And, um, Coach Faye, meron ka bang gustong sabihin sabi- kay Coach Lian bago natin siya turo ang mag-love? Bam, boom? Yes, um, siguro. Yes, you have to do this with us. Anyway, uh, on a serious note, let's let's declare, uh, inshallah, that this COVID-19 would, would really end. Uh, would really end soon. Uh, inshallah, so that we can all go back to our respective uh, lives uh, only with a different perspective. Stronger, pers- True. True. more resilient, True. Yes. more humble, more humble. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yes, God will put an end to this. Okay, so Inshallah. now that the virus is um, out there spreading, pero tayo po ay magpapakalat po ng love virus sa, sa, through the, our love bomb boom. Ayan, so, um, sis Clean, so put your, ganito po, heart shape. Ayan. Heart shape, okay, ano ba? <laughs> Ayan, yung ganito, le, parang letter C, dalawang letter C. Letter C, um... I'm really old. Inak maroon sa mga love, love. <laughs> Marami ka pang alam, sis Dian. Ikaw naman. Ayan po. Love, bam, boom. Ganon. Oh, Thank you. Boom. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you talaga rin for constantly. Oh, gagawin mo na natin, sis Dian. Love, oh, oh. love, 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 boom. Love, 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 boom. Love, 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 boom. Love, love, yeah. boom. <laughs> Thank you, Coach Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, thank you. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye.